Back here in southern Arizona, we have a similar type of plant. We're talking about the Apache nitrogen plant in St. David. In light of the Texas explosions, we wanted to know what that plant is doing to keep disaster at bay and those who live around the plant safe. Not on your side's Marcelino Benito found out. What started as a raging fire in Texas then turned into this. An explosion that leveled homes and has shocked the country. I never saw the explosion like that. That, to me, reminded me of the atomic bomb. Frank Miller and his wife live in St. David. Their neighbors, just a mile and a half away, the Apache nitrogen plant. And pictures like this. Out of Texas. If it happens, we know we're part of it. Is making them think twice. What did you think? That might could happen to us. We went to Apache to find out. They say they deal with some of the same chemicals the Texas plant did, but the likelihood of an explosion like this, very small. Safety is paramount to what we do, but our goal is to ensure that the potential scenarios that could lead to uh, these products becoming that dangerous are absolutely avoided. But take a look at the potential blast radius if the same explosion happened here. Homes as far as Sierra Vista and Vail would feel the shock. For Miller, it would be far worse. We just pray to God we won't ever have to go through that kind of experience. But if they did, Miller says he feels prepared. The plant has given neighbors emergency kits and instructions just in case. Value understanding what the causes were to understand whether there's any more that we can learn about how to make our industry safer. So Apache, like the rest of the country, waits to find out what went wrong in West Texas. The plant recently upgraded equipment and technology on site. Jeremy Barrett, the plant's general manager and president, wants the surrounding community to know the plant values its relationship with neighbors. And Jennifer, he tells us mm -hmm. tonight he is confident in their safety plan. That is good to hear. Marcelino, thank you.